If you're considering buying Hogwarts Legacy, or even if you've already pre-ordered the game, this video is a must watch before playing Hogwarts Legacy as I'll run you through all the release dates, gameplay details, PC system requirements, and much, much more. As you may have already seen some of this information over the last few months, feel free to use the timestamps in the description below to skip around. Starting off with the biggest piece of information you need to know. When can you actually play Hogwarts Legacy? This actually varies on what edition you buy or what system you're playing on. We'll get to what comes with each edition in just a moment, but if you're buying the standard edition on PC, PlayStation 5, or Xbox Series X or S, which we'll now refer to just as Xbox Series, you can play the game on February 10th. But if you're looking to play just a bit earlier than that, you can buy the Deluxe or Collector's Edition on the previously mentioned consoles, which will grant you 72 hours of early access making Hogwarts Legacy available to play on February 7th. After recent delays, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One users will have to wait until April 4th, 2023 to play the game no matter what edition you own. If you've already pre-ordered on either of those consoles, make sure you check your pre-order because many consumers are saying that it was refunded after the release date was pushed back. Lastly, Nintendo Switch owners will have to wait until July 25th, 2023 to get their hands on this magical adventure. Hopefully it isn't delayed further, but I honestly wouldn't even be surprised. When talking about release dates, I mentioned a few different editions, and if you're curious about which one to buy, here's what's in each one. It's a bit confusing, so I'll try to simplify things as much as possible. Keep in mind that when pre-ordering any edition of the game, you get the pre-order bonus of the Onyx Hippogriff mount. Yes, you can use other Hippogriffs when playing Hogwarts Legacy, but if you want yours to be Onyx colored, be sure to pre-order the game. The standard edition has no bonus content unless you pre-order the game. It comes in at $59.99 for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch, and $69.99 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. The Deluxe Edition grants you access to the game, plus some nice bonus items in terms of the Dark Arts Pack, which includes the Thestral Mount, Dark Arts Cosmetic Set, and Dark Arts Battle Arena. Pretty simple so far, but here's where it gets tricky. You can pick up the Dark Arts Garrison Hat if you get the Digital Deluxe Edition as an exclusive item. Also, the Deluxe Edition for the PlayStation 5, PC, and Xbox Series will grant you 72 hours of early access. Pricing on the Deluxe Edition are $69.99 for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch, and $79.99 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. If you aren't sure if you want the Deluxe Edition or the Standard Edition, you can get the Dark Arts Pack for an additional charge later when buying the Standard Edition of the game if it seems to interest you after watching a few videos. The last edition is the Collector's Edition, and there's been some debate on whether or not the Collector's Edition is worth the price tag of $289.99 for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, or the $299.99 price tag for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. With a price tag that high, you have to be getting some nice additional content and cool stuff, right? Well, not really. The Collector's Edition comes with everything from the Deluxe Edition, plus a life-size floating ancient wand and book base, a steel bookcase, and a Kelpie robe in-game cosmetic. Underwhelming in my opinion, but if the Collector's Edition's for you, then get it. I almost forgot to mention that there are some exclusive additional items up for grabs for PlayStation users on either PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. The PlayStation pre-order exclusive is a Felix Felicis Potions recipe and a non-pre-order PlayStation exclusive is the Haunted Hogsmead Shop quest where you can own your own shop and sell items. This quest is exclusive to PlayStation until February 2024. If you aren't on PlayStation, no worries. There is some additional content you can get your hands on. When you link your WB Games account and your Wizarding World account, it brings over your wand and house in game. Not the Patronus though, as that's recently been confirmed not to be linked together. Linking these accounts also grants you access to the exclusive House Fanatic School robes, beaked skull mask, and a special digital wallpaper. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please drop a like as it helps push my video out to more amazing people like you. And hey, while you're down there, go ahead and enter my Hogwarts Legacy game giveaway at the top link in the description. No matter what system you're playing Hogwarts Legacy on, you should be aware of what specs it takes to run the game and what the quality will be. Just so I don't bore you with nerdy PC talk, I'll be showing you all of the PC specs on screen while discussing some other FAQs about the game's quality. 
The PC specs to run the game are pretty low, but to have it looking top notch will definitely require a nicer rig. Players on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series will support two graphical modes of play. A fidelity mode that runs at 30 FPS, which I would assume is locked at 30, and a performance mode which targets 60 FPS, so I would bet that there will be a bit of frame variability in dropping. The graphical mode also comes with VRR or variable refresh rate for supported TVs and monitors. Other FAQs that you may have missed is that ray tracing is supported for capable PC hardware, Hogwarts Legacy will be Steam Deck verified at launch, and the game also supports ultra-wide monitors. Cross-progression will not be a feature at least at launch, which is a major bummer as I was hoping to take my PlayStation save onto the Switch. Damage numbers when attacking enemies can be removed, along with a plethora of other HUD and accessibility options. Now on to some of the bigger gameplay features that everyone's been asking about. Hogwarts Legacy is a single-player, open-world action role-playing game, which unfortunately means there is no multiplayer component, at least at the time of release, but it's been speculated that there will be some sort of multiplayer component coming as DLC, but nothing official. Hogwarts Legacy is a true Wizarding World fan's dream, as it includes all four immersive common rooms with different music in each of them to set them apart. There are also other familiar locations throughout the castle like the Great Hall, the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, the Forbidden Forest, and even the Quidditch pitch, although Quidditch isn't playable. You also can't play Wizard's Chess or Gobstones, but there are plenty of other minigames to participate in. For the first time in the Wizarding World, you get to explore the hamlets around the castle and even go to Hogsmeade where you can shop for all your Wizarding World needs and even run your own shop as part of that one-year timed exclusive mission for PlayStation. You can ride, tame, breed, and even just care for magical creatures in the Room of Requirements and the vivariums that you can customize that fit those magical beasts. The Room of Requirements is your base of operations letting you completely customize it from top to bottom. Now we aren't 100% sure what this looks like or how it works, but it's truly amazing. There's no morality system in the game, but it has been said by game director Alan Tu that your choices do have an impact on other characters in the story. Classes are a narrative story beat, which means you don't have to go to class every day, but they will help you progress your main quest lines. There are plenty of characters for you to meet, including three confirmed companions, one for Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff, along with all the other students and professors that will share your time at Hogwarts. Jumping, swimming, flying on brooms, and over 20 spells have been confirmed. Combat looks fun, immersive, and like something that you can truly master and have fun with, but also simple enough that anyone can do it. Fans of other RPGs shouldn't worry at all. Hogwarts Legacy offers plenty of upgrade options from your character to the room of requirements, clothing, gear, and much, much more. You can level up and completely customize your witch or wizard to play exactly how you want. As for the story of the game, we don't know much, but we do know that Ranrock is leading a goblin rebellion in search of ancient magic which your character might hold. Another villain, Victor Rookwood, seems to be employed by Ranrock to find you and is a leader of his own gang. Hopefully our time at Hogwarts will help us learn who we are and how to control our newfound talent in ancient magic as a fifth year student starting fresh at Hogwarts School for Witchcraft and Wizardry. Not much else of the story has been released to this point, and if you're like me and you can't wait another week to start your adventure at Hogwarts, here's some more Hogwarts Legacy content to help you pass the time. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.